All right, ready to roll. Okay, uh, what a difference a, a week makes. So first of all, credit to Florida State and their whole coaching staff, Coach Norvell, uh, their entire staff. Um, they are, that's the most complete football team that we've played um, all season. Uh, they made explosive plays. They're very stout on defense. They're really good in the kicking game. And, uh, you know, that's kind of where they are right now. And this is where we are right now. So they're, they're clearly ahead of us. Uh, you know, obviously that's disappointing to me because I thought that was a program that we had caught. And now they kind of caught us and got ahead of us. So we got a lot of hard work to do to get back to being at that level. Um, you know, when you lose by 25, uh, you know, that's not competitive. And you look at the stats and the score might even be a little misleading uh, how non-competitive it was. You know, they had over 500 yards. We had 200. Um, I really appreciate all the fans, the band, all the students who came out today, especially all the ones that stayed. And um, again, they're, they're just, they're, they're a much better football team than we are right now. And again, they, they outcoached us, they outprepared us, they outplayed us, they outexecuted us. And we've got to get past this one and get ready to play an in-state rival in, in four or five days here. So any questions? I think on a short week, right, you just got to get them back emotionally. I mean, that's – I don't think we've had one of these games in a while. I, I can't – to me, I, I can't remember a game like this at halftime in four or five years. So um, I remember being there before, and I didn't like it, and I don't like being there again. So I think more than anything, on a quick week, we just emotionally got to get these guys back and turn the page and, uh, you know, just uh, – we got to, you know, I'm not one of those guys that believes in not showing the film because I think there's always something to learn. Um, but we're not going to spend too much time on it. It's, it's not worth it. And, and Duke um, is going to be a hell of a challenge, too. I mean, they're playing really good football right now. I mean, we didn't get open, we didn't block them. We, I mean, it's. I mean, anytime we got a three-yard play, I, I was that was a good play. I mean, they just they're better than us, Connor. I mean, I, I we went out and played them a week from now um, and be uphill again. They they are right now they're a lot better than us, you know. And I and I said it uh, earlier in the week the, that program um, has done the best job of anybody of embracing what college football is in 2023. They kept all their best players. And they added great players in the portal. And that's why, I mean, they are really good. I mean, it's, it's not one guy. Um, you know, they're, they're tailbacks, the quarterback. They got a bunch of receivers. They got a bunch of tight end. I mean, that's an all-star team. It really is. Those guys are, are so good, 183 starts. Um, you know, they were able to keep a guy that was a projected first-round draft pick at defensive end. That guy Verse is really good. I mean, he was really hard to block. You know, I don't know where Jordan Travis was going to get picked, but they were able to keep uh, a high quarterback draft pick. Uh, they were able to keep a lot of their best players. The receiver, 14, who even didn't play. And then you add Keon Coleman to that group. I mean, wow, pick your poison. And so, you know, if they, you know, we knew this was going to be a tough game. And um, we had to hope we could get a few turnovers. You know, there's always little positives. Um, we didn't turn the football over today, which is a positive. If we did, it probably even would have been uglier. But we didn't generate any turnovers. Uh, I was very worried about their return game, and they got us on that kickoff return. I mean, we had two guys just bounce off them. Uh, you know, again, we just, they just, they overwhelmed us. Uh, you know, I, it, probably about Tuesday or Wednesday, I thought he'd be the starter. And, you know, I, I mean, it, kind of our conversation was, you know, if our, our offense with Sam Hartman was over here, 
and our offense with Santina was over here because of how few reps he had. We couldn't keep trying to do this with Mitch. We had to just have some plays that we handed the ball off and put it on our O-line and put it on our running backs. And, and that was harder today because of um, you know, how, how good their front was. You know, so that was going to be a, a tougher task for us. And uh, you know, we struggled in the first half. I think at one point, Mitch was like one of eight. Um, and then in the second half, you know, he was five of eight and hit some passes, and and then we wanted to get Santino in there at the end. Um, but at the end of the game, you're starting to think, you know, we're probably not going to win this one, and we got to play in five days, so let's not lose anybody. And so we, um, you know, once in the fourth quarter, ten minutes, we were still down three scores. Um, you know, once they hit that one counter play, we started playing for Duke and get some younger guys plays. I mean, I hate short weeks. I mean, they're especially this late in the year. I mean, kids are beat up. Um, you know, every coach in our league, when the schedule comes out, you say, I hope I don't have a short week, especially in November. But that's TV dictates it. So, you know, you start thinking about that, you know, half, you know, late in the third quarter, early fourth quarter of, you know, instead of, hey, let's fight through this and see what we can do and try to make the score closer. You know, if you start losing key players, you've made Thursday tougher. You know, so we, we pulled DeMond and we get we had Tate Carney have a chance to run a little bit. I thought he did a really nice job, had some good runs. Um, you know, we started playing our, our twos and, and got those guys some reps and tried to keep our ones healthy so we're not too beat up. The only, the only thing I'd say less is you know, at halftime, I said, guys, let's just go out there and let's win the second half. This game is uphill. That's a really good football team we're playing. But if we can win the second half and not lay down and keep fighting, that gives us something to build on. And if you win it quick enough in the third quarter, maybe we can ourselves back into this. And so, you know, I've had football teams that, you know, you're that at halftime and they just lay down and that thing becomes 63 to three. Okay, that, that is forever etched in my memory. Um, but we did. Our guys played hard. We held them the one score in the second half. We had three drives on offense, two were scores, and the third would have been a, a score if we weren't down so many points. Um, and again, we're not, we don't want to win halves, but after that first half, I think for our guys to go out there in the second half and compete and, and get two scores and hold them the one, um, I've seen a lot of teams not do that. So I, I was proud of the way they, they came out there in the second half and, and kept competing. And, um, you know, there were just, there were a lot of bad matchups for us. With the offense stalling in the first half the way it was, did you ever consider a quarterback change at that point? Mm-mm. Because you say, is it stalling because of the quarterback or is it stalling because of all the pieces? And, you know, I, I thought with some of the pressures they had and, the way we were running the ball, and you know, we threw it on third down once, and he, you know, I mean, he just the pocket got overwhelmed. So I, I didn't, you know, like the the Virginia Tech game to me, we were struggling because we weren't functioning at the quarterback position, and and Mitch just didn't seem he seemed a little out of it that game. Uh, to me, the the ball was the play, you know, the checks were the right checks. Uh, the ball, for the most part, was going where it should go. Um, you know, he, he missed a couple of throws, but when you're under duress like that and there's not a lot of separation, that's going to happen. Two more guys. Coach, were there any concerns defensively with the key scores just being back from the Yeah, we had a lot of concerns going into the game. I mean, they, they do that to pretty much everybody. That, that team is really, they're very talented. Uh, Again, just go through the, the names. The, the Coleman kid, I mean, that's got to be one of the, t if he's not, if I had to put a list of the top five receivers we've faced here in 10 years, he's one of them. I mean, he is, Caitlin Carson's a good corner. And, you know, that, that kid is a really good player. And Trey Benson is 223 pounds, and he big plays everybody. And there were so many times early in the game that, 
we had them covered and we had them sacked, but Jordan Travis made four guys miss. So I don't, you, you go back and you say, well, what would you do different? I mean, we had guys unblocked in the backfield and a guy that I think if he doesn't win the Heisman Trophy should certainly be in New York for the ceremony, he was better than us. And that's why you recruit and that's why you try to keep your best players. So wow. that when everything breaks down, your players can make plays and they're, they're good. No, I, he did, I didn't say that. He didn't no, make. No, I'm saying. I'm saying that. No, he didn't. But I. That's sitting, that. Sitting in the pocket, we saw a lot of time and not throwing it away, oh. taking the sack. Uh, I, I, I didn't make those corrections at this point. Uh, yeah, I, again, I'll have to watch the film, Tony, and you might be right on. Like, to me, there, it was. He didn't have as much time, and when the pocket's collapsing, you got to have a place you can throw it to, you know. And just to me, there. There weren't throwing lanes for him to get rid of it. I mean, there was just times that, you know, we got, you know, and again, you, you might be right, Tony. I might come to you Wednesday and say, you know, Tony, you were right. I watched the film, and, man, we had all day, and he just held the ball forever, and he got sacked. My gut reaction to that right now is I, I don't think that happened. Um, you know, and you get down to the red zone, and it's third down or fourth down, and you want to try to make a play. You know, and, and we, we pulled some specials out today. We tried some trick plays. And we got the reverse for a touchdown. You know, we had the throwback wheel that I thought we had a guy open, but then we got sacked. Um, you know, at, at some point, you got to win one-on-one -on -one matchups on both sides of the football. And, uh, you know, I thought they did a good job protecting us. You know, I, I don't know how much we won up front defensively. And, uh, again, that's... I thought our guys played hard. I think it's just a credit to the level they're playing at now. Okay, thanks. Yeah.